welcome to 705R Studio Instagram Live. It is uh, the 16th of March 2022. Hello and thank you for joining us today. I'm your host Stephanie Jennifer and uh, my co-hosts Debbie New and Susan Yo will be joining me shortly. If you're here, hi, hello, please. Talk about your tangling supplies. We'll be spending the next hour, hour and a half just Tangling together, just hanging out, and enjoying our time together. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Hi, Susan. Hello. Oh, no. I used the wrong account, I think. Uh, hang on. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Susan, I see you have a very interesting towel in front of you. Yeah, this is the one that tinted with the uh, Black Forest Black. Magical. Very nice. Very I think this is the one that trying to not to waste the, <laughs> the colour, <laughs> so just the tap leftover. it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, the leftover. Very economical, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so if if you'd like to uh, find us on social media, basically a recording of this um, session will be available at 7 Forest 5 Rivers and it'll also be available on our YouTube channel uh, you can search youtube.com slash c slash 7f5r studio and uh, it should show up. Debbie is at tangled.pursuit. I'm at halfpanel underscore will draw and Susan is susanio.czt. Uh, as with most of our sessions, we usually focus on prompts from um, our uh, group on Facebook, 7F5R Challenge. You can just search for it on Facebook or follow this link to find it. Yes, good morning. We see all of you in chat. Good morning to you guys. It's actually almost 3pm here in Singapore, so it's good afternoon to you guys. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to tangle along with us, you can just grab a tile and some pens and see what magic we can create together. So, uh, like we normally do, let's go through our materials. Susan said that she's using her attire with some Lindy's Gang Magicals Black Forest Black on it. That's very pretty. What what pens are you using today, Susan? Oh, I'm using the standard one. The I stand by my Micron Brown Zero One Black. Then I stand by Pink also. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use or not. <laughs> then the White Jelly Roll. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the basic one. Then I also stand by my uh, watercolour pencil in case I want to add some colours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's very simple. Very simple. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, what's simple? Very simple. <laughs> oh, so you are, today you are very simple. Just no, the, I, the I, tombo? I, no, no, I, yeah, yeah. The V is also very simple, tombo. Yeah. What well, are you using? Because I'm moving house. <laughs> she so, packed away all her supplies. Yeah, I packed everything. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm left with whatever I have here. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday we were discussing something. Then I wanted to like uh illustrate my my point. So I said, "Come, come, lend me your micron." She's like, "No, it's a micron zero one. You're gonna spoil it. Then I have no more microns. <laughs> <laughs> all packed away with you." <laughs> yeah, so very precious yeah. now. The well, micron supplies. zero ones are fragile. And I'm very heavy handed. Yeah. yeah. What how are you using? Maybe you have. I don't know. I'm still looking. <laughs> so I'm actually off the frame, I know. Uh, okay. Hunting down something that I can use. So I have a bunch of things here uh, that I have not packed away, thank God. Um, okay, so you, you, you can see my koi brush and my tombos. So uh, then I actually did away with my regular display, so everything is in a pouch now. Mm. So you hear me rattling around, that, that's, that's, that's why lah. Hear you rattling. Uh, yeah, because everything is in one. Yeah, so I have a pen, uh, a pen regular towel. Mm-hmm. And then I have several blue towels. You see? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the, just... the current uh, fortnightly prom that just went Yeah. Out. Blue. Yeah, so I thought very that... happy. <laughs> yeah, so I thought that maybe I should, you know, uh, make use of the prop. Yeah. Uh, I also have a few traveling tangle towels. Uh, I can't show you the rest though. Yeah, mm-hmm. then I still have this from uh, past week. Yeah. 
So oh, yeah. I might color this in later, depending on how much time mm. I have, mm. or I might not. Uh, I have a small set of ink pens with me, and then I have a bunch of I have a bunch of odds and ends, like other uh, sakura coins right here. So I will probably use uh, brush pens to color today if I'm doing any coloring. Yeah, I, I, I also have blue my coins, but I don't think I'll be using Well, would I? I'm not sure a lot. Anyway, yeah. Hmm. Uh, so for me... Ah, Susan. Susan finally found the mute button. Okay, very good. <laughs> so Instagram's updates are very strange. Yeah, so I'm using a postcard size tile. This is, I believe, rough textured. They have like a uh, hot press, cold press, and a rough version of these postcards. We're actually intending, uh, if you are subscribed to our newsletter, you should have seen that uh, 7 and 5 are just open an online shop. Very exciting. And we're thinking of adding these postcards, uh, blank, uh, not tinted, uh, in our shop in case some of you guys want to create uh, tinted tiles, tinted postcards that can withstand uh, watercolors and then these gang magicals. So that's what I'm using. Well, if you, if you like the tinted postcards, you can write to Stephanie and ask for them. Yo, then I have to obligate to <laughs> send you. That's true, though. I would then she, she might consider uh, producing mm. a new line of tiles for the yeah, shop. Yeah. Randomly yeah, tinted or like colored, colored palette Dima. tinted tiles. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good idea, Debbie. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, yeah. just to give you inspiration, right? It's another way of doing traveling tangles. Mm. Yeah. Then last night, I was packing uh, my pens for because I'm uh, streaming from 75 Off Studio. Then I packed in a Micron PN and a blue luxury pen that I found in my stash. So that's what I'll be using. So different from my usual setup. And then like Susan has her watercolor pencils, I have my watercolor palette and a little paintbrush. So that's what I'll be using for shading today. Hmm. Debbie, would you like to share today's string so that we can? How come you're using a green towel? It's blue green, huh? Why? No, this is, this is blue green. What kind of nonsense? This is blue green. <laughs> Yours is green. Mine is blue green. Look, there's blue on it. What is that? This is no blue. Powder. It's, it's all green. green. It's blue. Green. Oh, yeah, we will agree to disagree. <laughs> come share the string. Uh. Okay, so maybe I should um, just put my magical towels aside and then... Magical so, towels. <laughs> magical towels. Uh, let me try and zoom yeah, in. Magical. Oh, goodness. I wish that they had like a button to like zoom in, you know? Then I mm. won't topple the entire thing. Yeah, so I, I'm just going to demo on the back of the towel with a blue micron. Um, so we've done um, three circles. And then we've done three squares. And then we've done three seats. So today is going to be three triangles. So next week is going to be what? Three ovals. Seats are ovals, right? It's pointed no, ovals. Not really. Yeah. Yes. Yes, really. So, so pretending this is your towel, right? You can have like, you can stack your triangles. Something like that. Uh, is it big enough? Mm -hmm. Or you can have like random triangles going around your towel, like a pizza. Oh. Or mm -hmm. you can have kind of like half here. And then half there, you know, and then you sort of like imagine that your triangles are stacked. Oops. Let me get my picture, right? Or you can sort of um, do it in a way where they are stacked like that. And then either do another triangle around. America. 
I don't know who's calling me at 3 a.m. their time, though. I know, right? Yeah, yeah I mean. okay. It's probably a spam call. <laughs> yeah, so you can do that. Or you can decide to work with cheesy towels and have three of them. So you can have three cheesy towels. Maybe you might need to zoom in again. Yeah, because the call reset. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I almost dropped the whole phone. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? This is, this is very bad. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Can you see now? Yes, yes, you can use three cheesy towels. You can use like stacked. And then you can divide it this way, which will give you three triangles. Anybody mm. lost yet? No, still okay. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Okay, you're done. Hi. Yeah. I just realized. I, I did my job. Script people. Yo. <laughs> so is it my turn? I also now? have the other. I also have the other idea. Ah uh, yes. Like what we draw the. I, I can't remember the tangle name. Is using the square and the circle, but now we're using the three triangle. So it's just uh, the big is one, it, then the small weeks? one inside. Um, no, it's something start with the vitro or I can't remember. Whoa. This is the one. <laughs> don't know the don't know circle, <laughs> the square circle. Vitrovious. Yeah, this is the one. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Vitrovious. Ah, yes. Oh. Bingo. <laughs> Yay. Wow. Yay! <laughs> so funny. Okay, now, okay. now to think of what, how to use. Oh yeah, my god. <sighs> so, why do we do this Debbie, to ourselves, right? For Debbie is struggling with choosing a towel, I'm going to show you how to draw today's tangle. It's a tangle called, I guess it's, called, it's pronounced tanks, right? Like, thank you, thanks. By yeah. she Naritomi. She celebrated, ten, uh, she celebrated 10k on her Instagram. Yeah, so thank you for us. Yeah, so she she came out this very cute tangle uh, that she named ten k s, but it's pronounced tanks. So it's ten k s. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Ten thousand k people. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, uh, my step out is a slightly different from hers because her original step out, she wanted to show that uh, you started with a K shape, but I just go straight into drawing a heart on a line. So, if you are interested in uh, finding uh, Shia's original step out, so you can go to her Instagram profile and uh, it pro- it's probably very recent um, posts, so it should be on difficult our, to I think find. Click on our. There's a link somewhere, right? We have. Did we put it up? Yeah. Oh no, no, it's on that Boyer. That Boyer. That Boyer. Yeah. She's hosting. Yeah. yeah. So that that Boyer is our other uh, admin at the Facebook group. So if you are uh, on our Facebook group, you can actually click through on her post. Uh, okay. I believe it's a featured post already, so it should be in your uh, announcements. So look out for that Boyer's post, and then you can click through from there. Yeah. So after you draw the first heart, the second heart, actually there's a little gap between the second heart and the first heart. And then from here, you aura this first heart. And then the second heart will sort of look like it's going behind the first heart, or like a chain link kind of deal to it. And then from here, because of this line, you can turn it into a ribbon. So, of course, um, then you realize that the ribbon is actually made up of that initial first line that you make. So, if you want your ribbon to be more curvy, you can start off with a curvy line rather than a straight line. And then that will help in making your pattern look a little more organic. So of course you can uh, vary the width of the ribbon. So if you want to, for example, fit uh, a tangle inside of this ribbon, you can make it wider. Then we made a very pretty um, example of a thin ribbon. I think I have it somewhere. Hang on, that. Yeah, sure. Mm. This 
understand? Yes. So you can see the differences between creating a thick ribbon and a thin ribbon. And um, naturally for me, I will extend this uh, pattern to the left. So I will draw my next line over here and then draw the heart. So if you're drawing on your towel, you might want to draw it towards the right side of the towel so that you have space to extend it to the left. So that's another thing that I learned as I was playing around with it. And she is copied from her Instagram post. So she has this little sort of like, um, I guess a little balloon bouquet of hearts. So I thought that was quite cute. Yeah. So lots of fun things that you can do. For those of you who just joined us, hi, hello. Today's stream is made up of three triangles and we're using Tanks, the Tangle Tanks by Shie Naritomi CZT. Yeah, so just do join us. Tangle along with us if you like. I'm going to leave the uh, step outs up on the screen for a little while more before I start joining you guys with Tangling. Rubbing sound. Yeah, I'm trying to erase my screen. No. I think the whole table must be shaking. <laughs> Susan, do you practice drawing tanks before this session? I practiced once. How did yeah. you go? Uh, I think this I need to have more practice. <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay. No mistake. <laughs> no mistakes. I think yeah. also, like, a lot of my students, like, they say, like, oh, I, I don't like the way I draw heart shapes. Because they feel like, oh, my heart shape is turned out very lopsided. So that's why they don't like heart shape tangles. In her post, Deb Boyer, she also said that, so she's a Valentine's Day baby. She was born on Valentine's Day. So she actually really likes heart shape tangles. So it kind of worked out, right? But she hosted uh, this week's tangle. Baby, would you like to ask the first question? No, we are. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of my string without. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's a repeat of um Susan Tangle had to stare at <laughs> toy court, toy court. <laughs> had to stare at your tongue very long. But that Hold one on. was really hard. I don't want to talk. Yeah, I don't that want to talk. Hold really on. Hard. Okay, now, now I don't know where to put my third triangle, see? Which a small <laughs> one. And never mind, I'll just pretend that there are three. Any, anyway, anyway, there are like two small, four, four or five, six, six smaller ones already. So let's just go with this. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Why sigh? What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Oh. Okay. Okay. So remember how I said you know, your towel is actually green and it's not blue. Mm. So, green. Blue. so, this is a question that's related to color. Okay. Do you prefer warm tones or cool tone colors? So, because you know how um, you can have a blue, right? But mm. in, in a certain lighting, it looks a bit warmer and it looks a bit cooler and then sometimes it looks green. Mm. Yeah, so do you prefer warmer tone colors or cooler tone colors? Susan, do you want to answer the question first? My answer is that no answer you because I would just, I would just anyhow pick the color. I, I didn't <laughs> choose it. <me. laughs> In your pick. Yeah, just by intuition. Which mm -hmm. color to use? Then just pick. <laughs> I think, I think I gravitate more towards warmer tones. Yeah, but Why? I also have very. Uh, mm, I'm not sure. I guess maybe it's the colors that speak to me. You can take a look at my watercolor palette. I I did like a very old swatch of the colors. 
I keep, I keep buying similar tone blues. I have no idea why. Yeah. But, I don't know, a lot of my art. But recently, I think a lot of the tiles in my like, little pouch that I bring around with me have been blue. But maybe it's because um, CZTAE 2022 is happening soon, soon-ish. What is starting. the thing? <laughs> yeah, then the, the colour theme is blue, ma, so I've been keeping it Yeah, but they want Oh no, it's not a plug, it's not a plug. It's not a plug. I'm it's not trying plug. to sell you anything. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... H&E coming up. Okay... <laughs> Actually, without I'm I'm set wing, but without the secondary like line tanks, right? It looks kind of like um what? another another tangle, uh maybe like DV by Gem Got that kind of look to it. I might leave it like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Debbie, what about you? Do you prefer warmer tones or cooler tones? Okay, I recently thought about this. Okay, why, why I thought about this question is because I'm actually currently working with a designer who doesn't have any idea what a color tone <laughs> is. What thing? Yeah. You know how and, to graduate design school? Yeah, I know, right? And I thought that this is like the basics, you know, like, you know, like you, you would know this, like, basically, if you are an arts trained person, right? And then I'm not an arts trained person to begin with. Right, but I also know my colours, so I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, so basically what I thought about this question is because you know how um like Steph says she gravitates towards warm tones, right? Mm. Do you think it's psychological? Like because warm tones make you happy? And then cooler tones are like calmer. Maybe. But remember, remember the one episode where we talked about like what colors we like. Like that's the question I posed, and then you guys like answered like, "Oh, the color that I like and the color that I wear, or the color that I like to buy things in, is different." Yeah, yeah. But you see, you can like a color, but you mm. can like, I, I think you you can like a color, yes. But mm. then also the tone, the colors come in a different tone. Like this warm yellow and cool yellow. Yeah, yeah. Like like okay, okay. I I show you one example, okay. Can you see this? Maybe your designer need to... Like product placement, right? But it's not like... I'm not... Well, this... Well, was this sponsored? No, I paid for this. Yeah, I paid for this. No, yeah, you paid Yeah. So, so like, 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 this is grey. Like, six kinds of grey. But you can see that some are warm tones and some are cool tones, right? So Mm. then, I can say I like grey, but then out of this set of grey, probably one or two don't don't really... uh, Don't really... Speak to you. Yeah. And some some of them uh might say that out of the whole pack, I only like one or, or something mm-hmm. like that. But it's still great, mm-hmm. you know. So basically, um warm and cool t- color tones, right? So I was trying to tell uh my designer that basically the current place that I'm living in is a very warm tone house, like warm tone apartment because everything is like brown, woody um, you know, like beige sort of uh, very warm. Mm. I mean, you can look at my pot. My Same pots are already, color. yeah, very warm, right? So it's mm. like a very um, earth tone sort of current apartment. It's earth tone. So I was telling her that it would be nice if um our new place was cool mm, tone, something different. Yeah, and 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 I thought that would make sense to a designer, but not mm. really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So for me, I actually uh. I've I've lived in warm tone houses most of my life. Um because my parents liked as I was growing up, my parents liked to have uh warm like wooden sort of furniture and stuff like that. Mm. And thanks to uh thanks to that, I still have a lot of furniture around or I still have pieces of furniture around that are as old as Stephanie. So that's why they're going to paint them, right? Yeah, and, and, and we are bringing them over to our new place because it's like... It's like those. It's, no, it's not so it's much Sentimental. Of, so. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's still good. And where are you going to find these sort of pieces anymore? Basically, nobody does them anymore in Singapore. Um, it's also the, the look is very different, right? From most modern pieces. And also, they are very much uh, more sturdy than uh, the stuff that you can find now, you know? So basically, 
I was thinking about that because we're actually moving. <sighs> we're actually moving in like four days. And then box yeah. central over there. Yeah. That's why most of my things are packed away. So we have a class on Saturday. Uh, yeah. When we scheduled the class, uh, we didn't know I was moving at that point. Lah. So I mean, not at that on that day itself, right? Right, Steph? Yeah. 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 Not that crazy yet. I got, yeah, man. I got right to the class in the same week. I had someone write to me uh, in Messenger. You know, like, why do you kill yourself? I don't know, why do I kill myself? <laughs> then, yeah, yeah, I know, right? Like, Quite oh, insensitive thing to say. Kind of conversation. Like, Hi, nice to meet you too. I'm like, why do you kill yourself? That, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> you know, like, for the moment. And then, and then, you know me, right? Coming in from don't know doing what, you know, like, doing like 10 things at one time it, it's not like huh you know it just went over my head and then oh it turns out that she's asking me why did i schedule class just before my move and i'm like oh no 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 i'm not that crazy uh you know uh yeah so i had to convince her that i'm not that crazy mm. very good very good mm. so i think i prefer warm uh colors when it is um like things like a a card, you know, or children's gifts, you know. So those are like very warm, sort of nurturing or happy colors. And then I also prefer cool colors when uh, I work with Magicals. So Magicals has like very bright, bright, and also very somber sort of colors. And then I'm one of those who likes uh, both quite equally because if you don't have the somber colors, you don't have like the black forest black, right? Mm. Yeah. Pretty and actually, brown, purple, black purple. forest black, if you look at Susan's towel, also has a lot of cool greys. Mm. Yeah. And then, and then an example of a, a warm color would be the, the parts of Steph's towel, which is like warm and cool green. Which is why she keeps saying that it's blue, but it's actually blue. Blue. So like blue. a warmer green actually looks more blue. Aquamarine. Yeah. And then actually my towel, I don't know where you can see. My towel has a bit of purple in it, but it looks all blue, right? Yeah, it's because I think the purple is a very cool purple. And this blue will be a bit warmer than a usual blue. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm done with my rent. Anything else to say about the... Yeah, yeah. I got, I remember a funny story. Oh, yeah. I used to teach kids. Then one time, one of the kids... You still you teach know, kids? Okay lah. But last time, it's exclusively, I used to teach kids. Then, it's not Zentangle, it's, it's an enrichment center. But anyways, it's an important story. The point is that the kids will ask you like... Shadow is um, a kid. Listen! <laughs> <laughs> Do you really mean the story? <laughs> they will ask me like... um. Usually basic questions, uh, one, of which, one of which is, what's your favourite colour? Which I'll usually say, I don't have a favourite colour because I don't want the other colours to get jealous. And then most kids will like laugh it off. Ha, 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 ha. That's very funny. Then one kid was like, the other colours will get jealous? Oh, and he was too worried. And I was like, no, no. What is that joke? Traumatised a bunch of kids. <laughs> I was like, no, no, it's just, it's just a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, last time I used to not have favourite colour because other colours might get jealous. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I'm not asking you about favourite colour, I'm saying colour tone. I know, I'm just... It's related, man. See, I tell you, this is, this is something that I, I, I don't understand how a designer can't understand. <laughs> maybe... Maybe... <laughs> Sleeping during the morning. I mean, even okay, even if you are not a designer and you put on makeup, my right, that's that's warm and cool palette. Some people don't know, ma. Then you just slap makeup on your face, then they're like, "Why not my face?" Right, wrong, Susan. Some people don't understand. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you just put. Why are you so so But actually, it's not you. Actually, it's not your argument. It's just oh you don't God. understand. <laughs> not everyone know. Understand. Blue is blue. Why you need so many watercolors? Same same one. No, yeah. And and then she's a female designer, no? So I mean, I can understand the guy don't understand me, lah. 
Oh, but then, oh, okay, never mind. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay, what is your current favorite? That means you can have past favorite also if you want. What is your or your all time favorite? Okay, so what's your current favorite art paper? Very easy question. Oh, favorite art paper. If you can't think of any, just say the one that you don't like. No, <laughs> it goes it goes both ways. Yeah, I give you options <laughs> lah. Right. Mm, current favorite. What am I currently using? Debbie, you know the one, the one at no. Art Friend, <laughs> the new brand, the you hot press one that sold out. How can I answer your question for you? I can't remember what's the brand. Miko and Belize. No, know it's not. Really. It's not. It's not. You said you the one that sold out. The one, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me try and get. Oh my god. Oh yeah, no brand. Contented. This is the one that sold out. Contented. Okay. Contented. And they then? Like sheets. I, I, like, I like using their paper recently. Nice to draw on. They didn't sell out. Well. They still have it. It's just that they don't have to they find it. Hot press. Yeah, they don't have the hot press. So sad. Yeah, so I, I have my own stash that I've enjoyed using so I, far. I thought I gave you some. There's some oh, on my desk actually. Nice. I have oopsie. <laughs> it's okay, I'll fix it later. Yeah, there is some on your desk, but yeah, I still have my stash, so it's it's, it's alright. We'll, we'll 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 survive. So, so what about you? What's your current favorite paper brand? Actually I have um not very sure about those brand. <laughs> so I will just uh take the paper that uh most likely I'll use the cotton paper. Yeah, I, I like those with some um a little bit of rough surface. Oh. That is not not that kind of a very smooth one. Yeah. So oh, so I have no idea that. about the brand. What do you mean by opposite? Because she likes very smooth. Yeah. She doesn't like uh, rough at all. Yeah, I mean. Not that rough, lah. I, I I tried. I have used one that is very rough. That one I don't like because it spoiled my O one pen. <laughs> wow, you use O one. Yeah. <laughs> very brave. Mm. Why? Try everything once, ah. Uh. Yo, <laughs> spoil the you, you read Spoiler a lot of my pens already. It's time to use old one now. See? Smart. Then you use young one. Smart. Hmm? <laughs> you don't use oh. old one. You use young <laughs> one. <laughs> one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, what about you? Debbie is a paper snob. She like collects hey. papers. And then she would <laughs> she would judge your paper brand. I'm not the people using I don't like this one. I introduced yeah, to you this other, other brand. <laughs> Yo <laughs> So funny. <laughs> I'm so not like, why. The comment is not. Paper snob is not a bad thing, what? It's like I'm wine snob. Okay, okay, no, it's not, not, it's not. You if anything, you are the paper snob because you, you only use a uh, hot press. I use I'm time. using rough press today. Look, look at the grid. So it's not my problem. <laughs> uh, today, today, both of you look like kids. Mm. Mm, yes. <laughs> yes. Teacher, <laughs> touch my things. You know why? You know why? I, I, I don't I, friend I, you. No, I, I decided to learn all her bad. Cannot. Not allow. Yeah, I really have decided to learn all of Stephanie's bad habits. No, no, not allow. <laughs> Copyright. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Debbie, what's your favorite? I said I don't answer what. Nidio <laughs> Ivedis. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's my all-time favorite, actually. Stress more? Above stress more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think the Nidio Ivedis is the, my all-time favorite because it's so versatile. You can even use it to create sketchbooks and, and cards and, you know, and it's so fluffy. It's a very comforting paper. It's like comfort food. Comforting. Comfort it's, it's, paper. it's the cheese of the paper. Yo, my goodness. You two need to do the yeah, section to get the my paper. answers, right? Then never, never like, judge. Why I don't want to answer? Never judge, never judge. It's a, After you judge, it's a safe, you never judge. You are trying to safe. guess like me. What kind of nonsense? Nice. Yeah, so Mikko Evelis is one of my favorites. 
uh, is the all time favorite. And then and then I like uh, I like Strathmore Five Hundred. Have we given you Strathmore Five Hundred, Susan? Yeah, I think we have. <laughs> I think I, so. I, I think we give Susan so many things that uh, we also can't remember, and, and I think she also starting to not remember. Yeah. We didn't give you uh, or did we give you? I think you hard. gave me some. Yeah, but just that I can't remember what, what paper you gave me. <laughs> Susan, do you label your papers? No, that's why I so cannot so answer. I cannot. <laughs> yeah. I just she's, use. She's like me. What am I using? Who knows? <laughs> I'm using paper. Yeah. Mm. Don't know where. <laughs> So next time when I give you paper, I write on the back for you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> It'll be good. Yeah. I I do that when I send paper to my friends overseas also. Yeah, then I like the... Um, there's a cancer that I bought recently. Uh, it's a cancer at Quarrel, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bigger piece. It's kind of like almost A4 size. Yeah, but it's a bit too big for me. Lah. So, and then I'm reluctant to cut because I have a lot of other smaller ones. So, it's like redundant to cut it, right? So, I'll probably hang on to it uh, and then use it for that large size. Then, I'm trying to find an open size one uh, by other brands. But I haven't found it. I will eventually. Yeah. So paper goals. Then I quite like our tiles, the cotton mm-hmm. tiles. The Seneca <laughs> cotton tiles. Um is this one of them? Yeah, okay. This is one of them actually. But I prefer the square ones. Uh I don't know why then. Like for Zendala, right? Uh I prefer the Typolo Zendala. But if I'm doing watercolor, then uh, no choice lah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that's me mm-hmm. for paper. Sorry. Susan, you join Aura not from the yes. prom. Maybe I should join you. Yeah. Draw Aura not also. Because I, I'm kind of stuck with these things. So I just keep it as one section. <laughs> so and then you forgot so. how to draw Aura not me. <laughs> yeah. Why you want to draw so fast? Ah? Oh, yeah. I think very slow. Okay, I better hop to it. Draw very big. I did that last round already. I cannot keep doing that. Maybe it's supposed <laughs> to be challenging, right? Fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm also quite stubborn lah, in the sense that you know, you know how, how straight lines are not easy for me right now? Mm. So I've been doing nothing but straight lines on purpose. Like, a- anywhere I can go. Can uh, even, even, even auras. Yeah. I can't let go. It is, mm. It's kind of tricky to do auras now. Trickier lah. Trickier. Um, when I first started to do Zentangle, right, I had a lot of problems with auras. And then now I'm back to having problems with auras. Uh, okay. Are you ready for the next question or not? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Easy like okay, you, you want the easy one or the difficult one first? Oh, Susan, you choose. Anyway, you still ask the question, right? No <laughs> matter which one comes <laughs> first. <laughs> okay, come the easy one. Okay, easy one. Hmm. What are three things you are grateful for? You can you can go more than three. But you need at least three, and then you must tell us why. Oh, I don't want to. Maybe you want to go first. <laughs> why won't everybody give up? Must not give up, think. but have to, yeah, because must have reason, uh, so I have to think. Mm. Well, I'm thankful for art because I think that is one way that I've been challenging myself recently. I think if if I don't have art in my life, I think my life will be very depressing. So that's why. And then I also told you why already. Mm. Mm. 
then I am thankful for this team. So although we joke all the time and then we probably like laugh too much, talk too much. You no, know, it's, it's a mark of okay. what? What's such a thing is too much for me? Hey, it's, it's my tr- I'm trying to okay, explain sorry, why it's not not sorry. your your reason. Okay, okay I'll shut up. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Never mind, when it's your turn, I'll ask stupid question also. They are making harder for you, Asu. Go on, go on. So basically so basically, right, it's a mark of knowing someone that you know you are able to be frank with that person. And then even though we j- joke and laugh and, and talk a lot of rubbish, right? At least we know that we can trust each other. Yeah. So I think that is something that uh, is, is worthwhile being grateful for and worthwhile nurturing. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a coincidence that we met. Mm. Yeah. And then, and then for Susan, it's 她自己送上门, like she said. She herself, sent herself yeah. to our door. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we didn't uh, try to look for her, basically. She looked for us. And then, and then she got stuck. Got stuck. <laughs> you know, she won't run away. <laughs> well. I'm very worried as Susan. Then you cross the border, then don't come back, how? <laughs> run away, run away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is what, what Isaac really like to say. Run away. Bye. <laughs> Hello. I, I will be back. Okay. Good. Good that you'll be back. Yeah, go on, Debbie. Sorry. Yeah. So that's an example of how much rubbish we talk. <laughs> on the <YouTube. laughs> Yeah. And then they are always talking about food. My goodness. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, so the third one is probably the, the, the fact that I'm still around. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, 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 as to why I say that, it's because, I mean, there was one morning I woke up that I thought that I would make it mm, through, through the day, you know? So, I guess that puts a perspective on a lot of things in your life. And of course, it's kind of like, it makes you wonder why you're doing certain things, right? Uh, not, not, not as a complaint, la, but more like you are processing why you are functioning the way you are and for what purpose and for whom, you know? Is it for yourself? Is it, is it for the people that you, you love? And then you also question, who are the people that matter, you know? Mm. Yeah. And then because of that, right, uh, and I'm very bad at this. So actually, I'm very bad at journaling. Although I like to journal, and uh, I think at one point I was good at it. Lah. But I'm very bad at keeping up. So I can journal for like a few days, uh, and then I forget already. Mm. And then I'll just stop. Um... Yeah, so it's like kind of like I need to pick it up again. And then, so basically I found an app that will help me sort of like prompt me every night to write something, prompt me every morning to write something, you know, uh, into my phone. And then the the stupid thing about this is that, you know how you, know how you can have like your iPhone and your iPad mirror the, the app, right? So you can have one app across three or four devices if you want. So I downloaded it on my iPhone, thinking that I can sing it to my iPad. And then uh, I forgot about it. So when I started, I actually picked up the iPhone and I started on my iPhone, hoping that I can sing it over. But then the sing version has to be paid for. I mean, well, if you pay for... Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so then... (laughs) Very clever. So have this, yeah, now, now I'll start with uh, only the phone version and then it actually triggers my pain if I type too long on the phone. Yeah, Whoa. so that's, that's, that's stupid, right? Yeah, but that's, that's how it is. I drop it as a note. 
Uh, cannot land. It's an app. So I can't. Oh, I, if if I want to unlock the sharing, ah, I have to pay something like fifty something a <gasps> year. Excuse US? me. <laughs> yeah, man. So I'm like, you know, lah. I think better do lah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then and then at this current moment, it's like we are trying to to monitor our expenses because we're moving, right? And then there are like so many hundred and one things that you are paying for already because of the move, right? So, I mean, it's not something that I want to splurge on like, at this moment. Maybe like as it goes uh, on and, and I find that it's really helpful, maybe I might consider, but not, not at this moment, you know? Yeah, so I've actually been like nine, eight, eight or nine days on the app already and I think... Uh, I won't say that I feel better la, in the sense that I won't say that journaling helps me feel better but it certainly helps me uh, record down moments that would I would otherwise forget. Um, and then this app also teaches you things like mindfulness, you know, like uh, breathing exercises but I don't really need those. La. I, I just, I'm just saying that it's not that they make you pay $50 for just the, the app that the part of the app where you uh, write your thoughts, that would be daylight robbery. Mm. Yeah. Um, not yeah, it. so I think those are the three things and why. Susan, have you taught your thoughts? Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's, it's my not, turn it's now. Not children, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, three things to to gratitude. Uh, grateful for. I think a lot. Then I uh summarize them into three categories. The Whoa. first one, yeah, very she smart. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, but this okay, is a, it's very inadequate. This is an easier question <laughs> because it focuses on happier <laughs> things. So it's the easier question. Yeah. Okay. The, the first thing is the people around me, including my families, my friends, my students. Yeah, because uh, I, I believe that uh, because we are, we are living in a place that, in a society, we are not alone. So the people around us, um, sometimes we cannot control that who is uh, appearing in our life. Mm -hmm. But I'm very grateful that so far, no matter it's the good people or not so good people, uh, yeah, I'm still are. okay. Yeah. Huh? Who are? Who are? No lah. Well, for, for the good one can mention, the, the <laughs> not so good one cannot mention. <laughs> okay, the <laughs> Actually, funky, for those... Right? <laughs> it's not bad people. It's not good people. You see, when they're like that, right, they don't know that they're talking about them. They think that they're mm. good, you see. Mm. Oh, no, uh, it's not necessary for them to know that whether they are bad or good in my... Books. In my eyes, yeah. So what, what I'm so saying is that it, they think that they're good. So even if you're saying that, yeah, how even people can then if they if 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 they're happy, then good lah. Let them be lah. Yeah lah, good lah. Yeah, so so you can't yeah. censor them. That's what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Mm. Oh, they think okay. they're the good. But one. I think is uh for me is the like if those people that I met who is not so good, okay, uh, I will look from the other point of view that okay, maybe they come and teach me some lesson mm. to help me to learn something. Mm. Yeah, this is something that when i very young, I, I cannot uh, appreciate for this thing. But when I uh, get older okay, and wiser, <laughs> then uh, it's the way that we look at it. How we look at it, it will change our mindset. Then it will give different kind of uh, result in our life. Yeah. So even they um, looks not so good, but in the way that if they are allow me to learn something, then I think they are benefits to my life. Uh, mm. That's what I think. Uh. So it's the people, family, of course, the friends, uh, two of you. Yeah. Although I'm <laughs> 自动送上门, but no regret. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no regret. Buy a mm, bone herself. Very happy. Put mm. stem on the forehead. Mm. Uh, so the second one is uh, uh, grateful for Zentangle. Because if without Zentangle, I will never know that I can draw. Because before that, I, I'll keep telling people that I cannot draw. 
Yeah, uh, very uh, logical thinking kind of people. I do not know how to draw. I do not know about the, anything about colors. Yeah, but after the Zentangle, it seems like open a door for to uh, the art. Yeah, because after I know the Zentangle, I start to uh, learn about the art therapy. Then now it's a neurographical. Mm. If you, I I didn't meet Zentangle, right? I I think that I will never touch this kind of uh, mm. topic or even enroll for this kind of course. Mm. Yeah. So, like what Debbie said just now, art is something that um I think it will help a lot. Uh, help a lot of people. Mm. Yeah, in their lifestyle to have a more have a better lifestyle or balance. Yeah. Mm. So this is the two thing. The third one, I forgot the third one. <laughs> okay, Gosh. the third one. You, okay, you the third one too. Right? So if you remember, yeah, the first one is the human. Got, yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember now. The third one is that uh, the the place that <laughs> the place that where I live now, Malaysia oh. or Singapore. Yeah, because this is the place that without war, without. Mm. Uh, mm. those uh, serious natural disaster mm. yeah mm. although there is something that is not perfect i think ev- uh all over the places there's no perfect place mm. but so far it, it is a p- country a place a land which is i find that uh it's very good i'm very fortunate that uh i'll in this land yeah mm. yeah that's my Three answer. I will talk about. Mm. My first one is health. Food. Oh. Okay, <laughs> not not <laughs> healthy food. <laughs> I did I did consider saying like oh lunch was actually pretty really nice today, but I'm like no 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 <laughs> now now you all say until so so nice that answer better. <laughs> but, right. so, health health is my my first answer. It's the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, as, as everyone know. Is it because my scare scare everybody then? Oh, also I'm that about health now. No la. It's also ep- the pandemic so far none of my family members have gotten COVID. So it's 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 been good. I've been grateful for that. Numbers are very high in Singapore right now. And um like Debbie right now isn't you know she's she's I would consider her immune compromised uh. she, she's a delicate situation where I wouldn't want to put strain on her immune system like and a, a, a close a person that interacts with her quite often although she probably would not want it <laughs> God, wait, all your jumps yeah anyway so she's <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, but very gross. True, she, she has a lot of jumps yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, so, cool. so it has made me more mindful also la, that like, and so my mother-in-law has um, health existing health conditions that I won't review because mm, that one's nobody's business but our family's business. <laughs> so it puts her at, at a risk la, for uh, if she gets COVID for um, serious complications. So it's always been at the forefront of my mind like people around me that I love. I might recover very quickly from COVID, but if I pass it to the people around me, it will be very, very bad. Nah? So, so far, so good. Everyone is healthy. So that's something I'm grateful for. Um, Next would probably be... You all say art. I will also say art. Nah. Art no. has provided it's me... It's copycat, you know. No, but it's true. So what? Art has provided me with opportunities. And on a bigger basis, one, one thing that I want to say that I will go for is this team. Because this team allowed me to understand that actually there is a bigger potential in me. If it's just me by myself with my mom, I might have just been happy doing what I was doing three, four years ago and then just live my life like that. But this team has uh, opened my eyes to like the opportunities, you know, that there are if I push myself a little harder. I can actually do so much more. I think that's very valuable to a person. Because like Susan said, you know, people that, good people that come into your life for tissue or something, right? even not so good people also. Lah. But this team has been very good to me and has taught me a lot. So I'm grateful for that. When you so say that this team has been very good to you, right? 
I think our Susan sourdough leh. Why? <laughs> that was your association, not mine. <laughs> So Quite a long time I didn't Susan. bake there. Yeah, yeah, Susan. <laughs> I was talking to Debbie about it. Then after that, Debbie, Debbie was saying, you worry about Susan going across the border and then she can't come back. And I said, yeah. And then she said, you worry about her not coming back or you worry about the sourdough? She can mail you the sourdough. <laughs> and I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> so to, to make it clear, it's not your sourdough. It's not your sourdough. It's the person. Yeah. <laughs> So, ah, that's letter number two. Why may you think of sourdough? My goodness, I'm so greedy. Because you're very greedy. That's terrible. And she loves bread. Like bread. I'm dark, quick, quick. <laughs> like bread. What's my last one? Why am I grateful for? <laughs> no, because I spent, I spent the whole time like listening to your answers. Very the closely, then I never think about the last one. Don't be like the Is this going to be not our answers only? What part two? Like... What am I going to think? Yeah, I'm thinking. Hold on. I'm grateful for. Mm. <laughs> so hard to find something that I'm grateful for, is it? Must must think. Okay, okay. The, 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 the first thing. <laughs> Having a very bad day right now. <laughs> I'm grateful for nothing. <laughs> Can I say I'm grateful for my daughter? No. She gives purpose to one. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm grateful for. Yeah. I think your daughter is one of the reasons why we started this studio in the first place. Right? Yeah. yeah. So if you see a potato with me or with Debbie, uh, she's the reason why Sabrina Fire Studio is around. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm grateful for. I think it's not just the studio. I think also you take yourself more seriously because now you're a parent. Yeah. I think you, you take things more seriously because... Now it's not just you, you know. Last time, so you right. have yeah, to. Yeah, it's okay la. Yeah. No, it's cannot. It's okay. Yeah. And then she's watching everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you need to be like two steps ahead. Hmm. How's everyone on their towel? Would Would you all like to give a towel update before we move on to the next question? Mm. What are you guys up to? I think this towel turned out better than I thought. So I'm kind of happy Pleased. for once. Yeah. But 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 of course there are a lot of tiny errors la. It's just it's just that. Oh, maybe you did like a I hold it up. Because I think it's reflective so it's very hard to see. Yeah, nice. Very I, I wish that there was more purple in the towel though. Like it's mm-hmm. very flat, uh. On screen, it looks like it's, very flat, it's but intense hmm? for shading. I uh, will see what. Take away already. <laughs> no, I have a twelve pack. Oh, okay, hey. that's good. I remember taping up the <laughs> larger box set. Pack it out. Where is it? In the box. In the box. In the box. In the box. <laughs> Susan, what about you? How are you doing? You putting a gemstone in your own or not? Very nice. Yeah. Actually, today got tiny the towels. I find that I'm stuck. Why? <laughs> Looks nice. I don't know. I have no idea how to continue. Yeah, here's the first triangle, the second mm-hmm. one, then the third triangle is still. Oh. Uh, in the progress. Yeah, I thought, the I little thought, one. I thought the orana was the third triangle. Oh, the orana is the star. Okay. Yeah. So. So the third triangle, you also put other things inside of it, lah. Uh, still thinking what should I do mm. then mm. the top part will you leave it empty maybe no, most likely I will leave it empty out. yeah but just asking her Living... to answer so many questions about Ma- how <laughs> curious about it I'm quite sure everyone else also curious can you imagine if we did that to mm. her that's can can, can do can do can do I whether got go. coherent answer that's, that one is different two different things yeah. run away run away so I I <laughs> 
I added some gold details to my tie using the Luxu pen. Then because um most of my background is actually green, as Debbie says, uh, you can't really see the color of the Luxu pen, which is actually blue. It looks more gold on the paper. Yeah, and then I added white highlights, and then now I'm going back in with my watercolor. Did you use a blue micron? Yes, I did. I did use a blue micron. So it looks, I guess, a bit softer than if I had used black because then the background and the tangle colors sort of are more complementary. So yeah, I also realized yesterday, I, I thought of using like a purple um, micron. Then I realized I didn't own a purple micron. I had so my studio. I think I, I know, had my I know, I know. kit I there somewhere. Yeah. Well, you can use it if you want. Mm. Maybe in the next life, I will pick a purple tile. In your next life? In the next live. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want to be reincarnated. Be reincarnated as a meow meow. No, thank you. That ha- is, um, has an owner that is as nice as that be. Her, her cat's very, got very good life. Just now, just now my cat decided to, to flip. The little tray, you know. Oh, yeah. See, so for nonsense, but yet Debbie loves her so much. See, so she'll be. No, she drives me nuts. I tell you. To someone like she's, Debbie. She's asleep now. Thank God. Maybe she sneezes on on the line. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that one was very cute. Yeah, so that's about it for updates on our town. We're slowly working through, um. Our tiles, and we hope that you're looking through yours too. We'd love to see what you've created. So again, you can tag us at Seven Forest Five. We just a recording of this. I got one last uh, question, and you know or not? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hold oh, on, okay. I thought <laughs> you're closing already. No, no, not closing, not closing. You gonna tag us? Tag us at Seven Forest Five. You can also watch a recording of this session uh, on this Instagram uh, profile. Debbie is tangled.pursuits. I'm halfpen underscore will draw. And Susan is susanyo.czt. If you've used any of the prompts, either blue or orana or um, today's featured Tangle Tanks by Shiri Naritomi, you can also post it in our Facebook group, 7FSR Challenge. Yeah. Debbie, what is your last question? What is mine? Oh. Okay. So you know how okay. we are already in... What? We are already, what, a quarter of the way. Are we? January, February, March? No lah. That's not what Yeah, we are. We are already a quarter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, that's not what I'm asking. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not what I'm asking. <laughs> oh, well, if you want to ask a question, you can go ahead. No, no, no. Got questions lah, but you, you, I'll save it for another session. What is your question? Okay, so, you know how we are like, Actually, this is going to be uh, the third year of the pandemic. Wow. Cool. Right? So fast. Yeah. So actually, 2020, and then there's 2021, and then now it's 2022. So it's three years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then- so what is one thing that you have observed, or you have learned, or you have experienced mm-hmm. in this pandemic that it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a good thing, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, it can be something that affected you very much. Um basically something that, you know, impacted you la. You know, like, you know, maybe maybe you can say something like financially. <laughs> yeah, financially it has impacted me and then yeah. why, you know? Or you can say like uh it has caused me a lot of pain. I got COVID or someone had COVID, you know, that kind of kind of thing right? so it could be something like that yeah. or it also could be something that you that distresses you like like gives you a like high anxiety whenever you think about it the news gives me high anxiety every time I think about it <laughs> what what gives you high anxiety the news or I mean I mean everything very scary and <laughs> I mean in the pandemic because you you have freaked out over the news since day one that I've known you, right? But at that point much. there wasn't a pandemic. So it's the it's, news is just very scary all the time. <laughs> Susan, do you wanna go first? 
You want to go first? No, not really. <laughs> okay. Okay, then I go first. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think... Because I told um, you it's a hard question. Ah. Yeah. Hard question. Oh, see, Susan, you were right. We will eventually get to it. <laughs> no, but, but I told you the, the Zahang that one was easy. Ma, so I let your choose. Why well, you pick the hard, hmm. the, the easy one first, Susan? And now we have to end on... <laughs> Such a difficult <laughs> question. Okay, okay, go, go. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, I think there's a lot of things that I learned from this pandemic. Third year. Okay. Uh, I think one thing is that people try, uh, is, uh, uh, how do you say it now? Mm. Okay. Just at the, uh, the beginning of the pandemic, everyone is just like, very, uh, don't know what to do. Mm. A lot of uncertainties. Mm. To know what's the government or the the whole world is going to to deal with this thing. So mm. at the beginning, it's all the anxiety, mm. all those mm. that thing. Yeah, then stress. Okay, but I think we people is uh adapted quite uh quite well. Mm. Okay, for example, like for the online online uh courses. Okay, because in Malaysia during that uh, what we call is a MCO the mm. um, movement control order. Okay, mm-hmm. so people will just stay at home. Mm. Then a lot of um, uh, people, they start to have some so-called uh, Facebook Live or so, some uh, free live classes for mm. Zentangle, for watercolor, for maybe some of the uh, talks. They are just trying to uh, make people, even you are at home, you still have something that you can uh, do. You can draw, you can listen to the talk. It, I think that this is kind of that um, people, those teachers react quite fast to uh, calm people down. Okay, and also to share something that, that might benefit people. Okay, then uh, this is the thing that I, I see that is very good things. Then it also uh, fast forward our online classes. Mm, all true. the courses otherwise people will think that okay, only when the teachers come to my places then I can attend the talk then I have to spend uh, I travel to that place to, to listen to the talk or seminar mm. but now it's everything at home as long as you have the internet then you can, can learn so mm. this is something that um, online learning it become uh, oh, actually it already has a trend but it doesn't expect to go so fast Unless the pandemic start, yeah. So this is the thing that I think is a very good, good one. Yeah. So this uh tell us that even in a very bad situation, if we uh still have the hope, we still can make some changes. Just uh the matter of time. Mm. Yeah. So mm. how has that impacted on you personally? How has okay. this whole thing? Uh, mm. Yeah, for me, it's like, uh, I also uh, have those uh, online courses. I attend, I, I conduct Zentangle classes online, and I also attend the classes uh, from, like, in uh, US teachers, like, for my neurographical. So, this one is really uh, uh, open a lot of opportunity for me in terms of learning and teaching. Yeah, and also... From this pandemic, also we we start everyone start to, uh, we have more, um, feeling that we need to appreciate the people and our current situation, yeah. Because you will not know that the person you meet today whether the next day he or she is still around or not, yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is the the a lesson that for all of us, if we can get the. Uh, the learning, the teaching, then we benefit from that. But you're still complaining about all those uh, uh, restrictions, all those uh, inconveniences that cause, then you you might still live in the suffer, suffering. Mm. So you need to change also. So it helped you to look up from the circumstances and give you something else to focus on. Uh. That's what you're saying. Uh. Yeah. It gives you something um, productive to focus on, which is art, which is your continued learning as a, as a teacher and as an artist. Yeah. yeah. And I think for this uh, pandemic also uh, force people to, to uh, come out from their comfort zone, mm-hmm. to think of something that they can do 
or they cannot do. Yeah. Because most of the time, if we still uh, working in the same place, with same kind of uh, uh, way of living, mm-hmm. then we will not have like uh, think what we can do. But with this pandemic, actually we can try to think what else I can do besides my routine lifestyle. Mm. Mm. Okay, why, why you freak out about this? It's not a hard question. You answer very well. Eh? Mm. Well, that's why I will also be the first one to answer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> good lah, very good. Chop chop, can you pop? Very good. Yeah. So Steph. So who's next? You can go next. You want me to go next? I don't mind. You can go next if you want. Of course, you don't mind lah. I got my answer already. But well, you can go yesterday, next. Yesterday, yesterday, I could hear her mom screaming from the living room when I was in the the bedroom packing. Her oh. mom was like. Steph, you're bloody lazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. You asked me to throw away something. Yeah, yeah. You asked me to throw away something. That, I think my mom was like walking in the direction of the bin. I'm like, nah, you can throw this. Then she's like, you're bloody lazy. And I'm like, no, you are already going in the direction. So, you help lah. And she's like, oh. yeah, really? yeah. And that's why. Yeah. yeah well, she's efficient. I guess for us, Okay, so when we started, the studio was like 20, end of 2018, la, right? Yeah. yeah, so end of 2018 was when we decided to collaborate on a long-term basis. So uh, Stephanie and I, or although we were teaching separately already, la, uh, we had our separate um, practices. Do you want practices? Yeah, practices, la, for, for one of a better word, right? So we, we already were teaching on our own and then uh, 2018, um, Charlotte came along in 2018. So Charlotte is uh, Steph's uh, daughter and that was when Steph probably took herself more seriously, like I said. Because how can you not, right, when you have like a tiny little baby that is like days old and then looking at you and then you are stressing out, right? So I can understand where her anxiety came from, and also and also she was not doing well, very well at that time also mm. uh, right yeah, and and of course as I'm sharing this, it's because she's a lot better now, mm. right yeah, and and we can talk about it on air, uh, mm. without her melting down. <laughs> I will cry yeah. after this so, session. <laughs> so it was it's been good progress. Uh, on Steph's part, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. And, <laughs> and I think, I think when we started out, right, we didn't, obviously who starts out a company thinking that a pandemic will hit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, start, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so when we later. started out, when we started out, right, we were, we were already kind of very busy already because I was working as well. So I would do weeks like, uh, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'll be at office uh, at the uni. And then, and then two, four, six. And then sometimes we have class on uh, Sunday. So class on Saturday and Sunday sometimes. And then it will be like a full week for me. So I wouldn't have any like downtime. And, and at that point, um, I think we thought it was very stressful or maybe la, at that point, right? And then when the pandemic came, uh, actually we were breaking even at that point, I should say. Yeah. The studio was breaking even at that point because we had, uh, we were able to lease uh, out the, the space for yoga and, and other um, forms of mindfulness activities. Um, so at that point, the studio was actually doing okay. And then when the pandemic hit, right? Um, so, so of course, this is like our two years or three years in the pandemic that we can talk about it. Lah, right? But at that point when the pandemic hit, like Susan says there was the MCO and then uh, all the borders were closing in and stuff like that. So our, we actually lost uh, all our... 
tenants. Well, is it sub tenants? Yeah, I would I would call them sub tenants, I guess. So we actually lost them all because most of them were foreigners. Um, so, so uh, no one is Taiwanese left. You can't oh, see yeah. Malaysians. Yeah. So so we actually lost everybody basically, and then that put our studio. Um, um, you know, it made it made us freak out, lah. Basically, because from from breaking even, suddenly we were owing the landlord money, and we had such a difficult landlord that uh, refused to talk to us. You know, so we would be texting her. Person. We would be texting her and then explaining to her that you know, there's totally no food traffic anymore. Nobody comes to the building anymore because uh, our building uh, also housed like two backpack inns on the fourth and fifth levels. So we were at level two, but uh, we would share the staircase with the upstairs units. So therefore, our business really suffered. And I mean, if you are the landlord of such a building, you will know, right, that upstairs is a, you know, and then you will kind of understand why people are no longer coming to the building in the first place, right? But of course not. So... We had a lot of problems with the landlord, and we barely got out. <laughs> right, Steph? We barely got mm-hmm. out. Yeah, and then uh, we actually paid a penalty, and then mm-hmm. from then, from then we had to mm-hmm. move our stuff, everything online. So we we already had like the. I mean, we were fortunate in that we. We actually were going in that direction already, so I know some companies uh didn't uh weren't prepared or to go online, and that's why some of them struggle a lot uh in Singapore, uh because you know it's like um you do something for ten years, twenty years, and you think that it's fine, right? And then the pandemic hits, and then you have to sort of like do everything uh from scratch again. So a lot of companies uh struggle with that. Uh, one of my workplaces actually struggled with that a lot. Uh, I tried to help them, but I think it was too late. Uh, and so that that company is no longer around, sadly. So considering those kind of um, situations, right? I'm kind of amazed that we are still here. Uh, we 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 compared to that firm that closed. Uh, we we are a lot younger firm. All right, we, our company is a lot younger. Uh, definitely they had more capital than us. <laughs> right, Steph? Mm. Yeah, and, and we had debts, right? We had debts to pay, but uh, they didn't. They were, they were positive in the balance. But yet they still folded, you know? Eventually they did have debt, right? No, mm. I don't know. Mm. I, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. So basically... We are still here, and 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 neither of us, or rather none of us, uh, actually learn how to run a business in the first place. Like none of us are like business grads, or or um, you know, ever took a management course or or startup course. You know, all, all I did was like maybe organizational management introduction in like polytechnic or something. And then none of us uh, are good at accounts even to this day. Then yeah, so I guess I guess where I'm coming from with all of this is that um, this pandemic, like 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 Susan says, has has really made people adapt, you know, outside their comfort zone. And then I will say that I will say that people don't try to save their companies because I know most people would. But you know, it's like how well you adapt also impacts on whether or not a company mm. survives. Or how willing or will you survive. are survive. Yeah. Some people are not willing and, to change. Yeah, yeah. Some people are not willing. And some people would rather just throw in the towel and then uh, just give up, you know? It, it really depends. Like, I'm, I'm just... I, well, I'm not going to quote anybody or, or say any names. But there are people who will just, you know, throw in the towel. And it's not... Being... Well, being at the front... Uh, end of the company I know why people would throw in the towel it's not easy so it's not a judgement uh, what I'm saying mm. it's not a judgement that people do throw in the towel uh, sometimes because it's really not easy going you know 
and like Susan says it's like you're forced to adapt, you know, you're forced to like think out of the box, you know, things that we took for granted and stuff like that. I mean, last time Singapore and Malaysia were like completely open to each other and then we could just go back and forth, right? Mm. Yeah. Staff also, and, 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 and manpower yeah. we like on yeah. relations. So, yeah, and a lot of people, you know, decided to give up on their jobs, basically, just to go back mm. to Malaysia and then they probably might not come back even. So I actually know of a couple of people who have gone back and are probably never going to come back here already. Yeah, so... It's, it's not easy lah. I mean, you, you never you never set up a company thinking that you will go through a pandemic. But then mm. what happens when the pandemic hits is that you can't give it up like that, right? Or, or you can lah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Or stuff like that all. Mm. I think what affected me the most, or rather what affected me... Uh, in the pandemic, that was something that I didn't expect. So, I mean, of course, nobody expects in the first place. But, you know, after, after like three years of this, you will probably get used to it a little bit. You know, like, all the what, what social distancing and, 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 and the movement tracking okay. and stuff, right? You, you start to pick it up already, right? But the one thing that I sort of like couldn't understand, still cannot understand today is the invasion of Ukraine hmm. during a pandemic. Like, for what? Well, you least suspect it. You will pounce. No, but you prove what point? Like, what point are you proving? What's there to prove? So you attack people in a pandemic and then you feel very good about yourself. I, I, I can't understand that, like, basically. So that has impacted me. I won't say that I am not, uh, well, I'm, I, I'm still calm about it. I'm not overly anxious about it. But I don't get it. Yeah, so it's something that I don't get. And something I probably will never get. Right? So, yeah, that, that is the main. I mean, I took, I, I guess, I guess, after three years of being a pandemic, you don't get that surprised anymore with the pandemic. But then, then comes, Someone, you know, going off and invading is like, it's like the playground bully, right? What have you got to prove, man? You attack someone in a pandemic, then you feel very good about yourself, is it? Yeah, so it's kind of like kicking people when they're down. Yeah. So yeah, that, that has impacted me. I am not very overly worried about the situation, but I do know people who are there in Ukraine, and I have Russian friends who don't approve of this as well. Mm. So... It's, it's something that has impacted my thinking uh, in a sense. Like, you know, why, why do this to people in a pandemic? For what? Yeah. I, I just don't get it. You know, I just don't get it. And probably might never will. Uh. Yeah. It's like the last thing you expect to happen, right? Mm. Mm. Should I paint those hearts pink as well? Should I what? Pink. Pink. Color, color. Should I color those hearts? <laughs> pink, pink, those pink? Must, must. Yeah, never mind. I'll, I'll think about it myself. I see, I see. Don't need. Don't need to see. <laughs> yeah, I don't need. Don't need. <laughs> My answer to Debbie's question. You can remember the question? Two, two. Should yes, I repeat yes. the question? Yeah, you, can, you can repeat it for everyone. Yeah, I'll repeat sake. it because yeah. I think some people came yeah. in and then some left, yeah. right? What's going so on, yeah. what is one thing that you learned or you observe or you experienced uh, during this pandemic? So it doesn't have to be a, well, it doesn't have to be a good thing or a bad thing. Like, it can be just something that impacted you and you can't understand, like I shared. Mm. Or it can be something that you disagree with. Like I shared, you know, just something that impacts you. Okay. Yeah. So I will I will take it in a positive way. Rather. My my answer is what how it impacted me in a positive rather than negative way. So the first thing that the pandemic taught me, so it's a little off from your question, but I'll get to your question in a bit. Oh. Uh, the first thing it's taught me like suddenly a lot of people became certified Zen Temple teachers. <laughs> and then 
and then and then I thought to myself, now that there's so many Zentangle teachers, will there be enough pie, metaphorical pie for everyone? You know, that's something that I worry about. So what the pandemic to- taught me is that yes, there is enough pie for everyone, and the style that you teach or like how you teach a class. Uh, Even your metaphors are food, Steph. It's not a purpose. What else will you use? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that came to mind. Not sure. <laughs> Metaphorical, I don't know. Um, chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorical cat. There is enough cats for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> See, it doesn't make sense. Eh? Pie makes the most sense. Anyways, oh. we're going off topic here. But anyways, there is there is enough. <laughs> Opportunities, right? Okay, there we go. There's enough opportunities for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens. English language, I really love it. It's <laughs> yeah, not. Listen. It's just your default is food. Okay, fine. My default is food. To be fair, <laughs> English is not my first language. So. <laughs> no, it is your first language. Food is my first language. It's not. Oh my goodness. Anyways, food is your first language. French is my first language. It's not. It is. It's not. <laughs> No, you can't speak French. You can say yourself. Can say? Anyways. She, she can say like a number of phrases, la, which is good, yeah. but, but yeah. not enough. It's not, not you fluent. Know, get lost. Not, not fluent. You get kidnapped in a random place. Anyways. Yeah. So, it taught me that, you know, you don't have to worry about like... About the pie. Being, yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about not showing up with the buffet table and finding out that there's no pie there for you because there will be pie, you know? Your your buffet table is also a metaphor. Yeah, okay. Food. Anyways, I'm just leading into the joke. Anyways, the okay. other thing that I learned that I'm grateful for, not grateful for, but like, uh, that the pandemic helped uh, people focus on is mental health. And that is something that um, is important to me. And I think over the past three years, I've taken steps to improve my mental health. I have, I, I would like to share everyone. I, I, I am currently in therapy after many long years of thinking about it. So it's, it's good that I've gotten this far in my journey and that I am able to improve myself with the help of a, a healthcare professional. And then, you know, a lot of people also realize through the pandemic because of, um, like Debbie and Susan said, because of MCO and circuit breaker and all that jazz, you're by yourself in your home or like uh, you're away from regular activities that you do and then that really brought focus into mental health, your well-being, uh, your thought processes, you know. And then some people also struggle with their isolation. So a lot of companies started to push uh, for activities that promoted um Mental, good mental health practices and all. So that has been, I think, a positive impact that the pandemic has had in my life um, as compared to like the, the not so nice effects of it. Yeah. So you are that, saying that, so, so, so you are saying essentially that the pandemic helped you realize that you need therapy or helped you realize that it's time to go to therapy or what? Time to go, yeah. It always was. In, uh, idea that I had, you know, like mm-hmm. people always say like, oh, your mental health is important. Yeah, it's important. And then you start to think like, oh, the steps it takes to get into therapy. You have to find a, uh, uh, practice that's near you, that you can afford, that uh, you have a therapist within the practice that vibes well with you. Then you're like, ah, oh, so many steps to one, I don't want to. You know? But sometimes a lot, a lot of yeah. people, I think, is financial reasons, right? Like, I cannot, currently cannot afford therapy. So, so you're yeah, saying that so I think that the pandemic has helped you come to terms with actually getting the help ready to go. For, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And also it's like there's a, a shift in societal view of mental health. Last time it's like, oh, you see a therapist, something wrong with you. Uh. But now it's, you see a therapist, it's just self-care, uh, right? Or like you realize that, you recognize that you need professional help more so than uh, what you the, the current skills that you currently have. So you want to seek professional help so that that, that, that healthcare professional can equip you with better skills uh, that can help you in the, the long term. So you are, you are crediting the pandemic for actually 
reminding you that, that this is fine to be going, is it? Yeah, that shift in it the shift. importance. Okay. Yeah. But then before that, you already had plans to go or no? No, not really. Not really. So what exactly gave you the urge to go then? Would you say it's like... It's like conversations that people have surrounding mental health. And you're like, oh, you know, I went to therapy and it was very good. Like, for example, a, a person that I know, I'm not going to name, but a person that I know, like, said, like, yeah, I've, I've recently been to therapy. And, like, you can tell, like, um, I could tell from previous interactions with her and then that, that more recent interaction with her that she had actually changed as a person. So you can tell, yeah, she's, but, she's but therapy is not to change you, right? Yeah, but you I mean, I'm, I'm she, having you this can conversation with you, not, not, not because I'm trying to put you in a spot, <laughs> no, sorry. I'm having this com- no, no, I'm having this conversation with you because there could be someone listening who might be inspired to go. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It, right? It's not so much change, it's more of your thought processes change, and so you, you in Chinese, we say 想得开, you feel overall your, your the mental health improves and then that makes you a happier person which makes you it, it changes how people interact with you the people are like oh yeah you, you seem different you know you seem in a much it doesn't change how space. people interact with you probably you, it changes you so that people interact differently with better you, right? yeah yeah I mean yeah. you can't change what people say or do what. they will yeah. still say or do what they say or do right changes your behaviour that's what my therapy says yeah that's so it's the, you la. the change must yeah. come from you la, right because it's, it's, not, mean, it's, not, if you, it's not magical it, medicine it, where like you go sick no, I mean, and then suddenly you come out better person. <laughs> you no, need to put it, in it, effort. It, it's like saying that I'm going to therapy so that everyone treats me better. But that's not everyone how it works. Everyone likes me more. <laughs> Why nobody like me? Go to therapy, the therapy so explain to you. No, it's in your head. You know? like, people don't, it's not that people don't like you. <laughs> like, would you change the way that you think about things? Mm. But it doesn't mean that you change as a person when you go to therapy, right? You learn coping skills. You learn how to deal with things, right? But it's not it's not that you would change and come out as a different person completely, lah, right? I ag- I understand what you're saying and I agree, but I also disagree in a sense that because mm-hmm. your thought processes change, so you 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 change the way like 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 let's say remember like we have conversations like you'll say something and then you say how are you hearing it you ask me you know then I'll repeat yeah. what you say in the way that I hear it and sometimes the way that I say it back is completely different from how you meant it you know and then maybe that's mm-hmm. because of the biases that I had picked up from my childhood I expect that people treat me not nicely so when you say certain things I I hear it as criticism but actually you don't mean it as criticism so you go to therapy then you unlearn those those coping mechanisms that you learned when you were a child that yeah, but it's you not well. meant to it's, it's meant to change your perception Thought but processes, not change you yeah, as yeah. a person but you I, mean, I guess you, I you guess, will still be I, Stephanie I, 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 you'll still be Stephanie correct but you'll be I mean, you go like, in as version. Stephanie you come out as Stephanie right come out as Susan you know, Stephanie Hi. come out as Susan yeah exactly that's why. I'm well, going to Malaysia well, going to Malaysia <laughs> I want to go back Malaysia <laughs> no lah you won't lah you'll still be Stephanie but you'll be hopefully a happier more balanced more more um, in a better mental headspace than you were when you first started hopefully if all goes well when you do your homework <laughs> everyone want to share your thoughts before we do closing Oh. And look at the I'm screen. Susan Tao. So we feel like I finished mine. With white tangles. And now it's a. Oh, it's a literal uh, triangle. It's a, yeah, little triangle with the gel pen, the mm-hmm. white gel pen with the print jobs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I cannot think of other things that I want. <laughs> <laughs> so it. And Tom says good. Okay. So, so, so from far away, you can see a bow, a ribbon. Mm. With a style, Mm-mm. yeah. <laughs> well, well, little butterfly on the bow, very abstract butterfly. butterfly. For a flower, a flower on the bow. No flower. Is it, it a flower? Is it? It looks no. like the tile that you previously did. That the one that is like a a butterfly. Was it last week's tile? I can't remember. But there was a tile that you did that no, also had remember. like a 
butterfly kind of shit to it. Debbie, how about you? Pink heart, no pink heart. Well, because my town is blue, right? So mm-hmm. I just added pink to it to make purple. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So I will it's probably. Perfect. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how else I'm gonna. Well, I I I was very uh. Where's your original triangle? Sorry, I suddenly cut you off. But... What is my original triangle? Yeah, the string, the string. Sorry, didn't make that clear. Okay, so there is um. Okay, now I'm very confused. So hang on. <laughs> <I'm> right. Is <laughs> it is it the outside hearts connect to three? Um no. Okay, so there's one triangle here. Okay. 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 Yeah. Huh? So this is one triangle. Oh no, no, no this, this one, this one, this yeah. one. This is one yeah. triangle. And this is another triangle. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought so. Then the last one? Inside one. This is the last triangle. Ah, okay. Smart, smart. And then oh. I converted some of it to fragments because I want to keep it simple. So oh, I wanted yeah. to have 10 Ks be the main uh, event on my town. Mm-hmm. And then I just kept it very simple with a fragment and some tipple. Mm. I think and 10 Ks was nice. I continued some of the auras lah. Yeah, it looks nice when it's like in a radial format. It's very different from when it's in a linear format. Mm, I can I be very honest? I don't really yeah. like the linear one. Yeah, oh, so, well, compared, compared to my other towel. La. So, um, mm. I think my inspiration started when I did this one. Mm-mm. Like, I realized that you could actually, you know, do like Stop a blossom. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I did well, a it's in direct one. contrast la, so it's a good Yeah, good, when it's uh, empty. Yeah, yeah. And then I might I might do a tan one. I see wow. how it goes. Uh. <laughs> it's the well, I already drew the string, right? And then and then it's like <coughs> going to peel off already. Poor know, thing. If I erase it and I'll tie it. Oh yeah, yeah, tan Yeah, and it's awesome. very thin. So this one is an old towel, uh, and it's so thin that See, yeah, when, I, when I use my blue micron to sort of do the string demo, you see the strings that we demoed? Mm. I can actually see it on the other side, you know, like e. printed. Yeah, e. that's how thin this paper is. So I'm not going to keep this towel like, uh, well, no point, right? So yeah, might as well use it now. Yeah. Are you talking about your towel? Yeah. I did a linear, linear um, tanks. And then I add the, a lot of our uh, tangles, our own tangles. I didn't don't yeah I didn't I didn't include any of Debbie's newest tangles, but I did add. What are my add newest tangles? Braven sword, uh, oh. ring. Don't 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 do braven sword. Next year's, next year's. Next year. What am I talking about? Next week. Next week. Next year. Oh, I was like, wow, we can't go far. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, on this day, like, next year. Two, zero, two, two, and I'm like, okay, what? Two, 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 three, and then I'm like, oh, oh I was like, wow, I didn't know you guys. Yeah, so, so, you, you see why First year anniversary? Again. Why do you try and kill yourself? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's why people try to message me and why do you try oh and kill goodness. yourself? Yeah, so so probably that's where it comes from now. Now we know. Yeah, next year, yes, next year, <sighs> one year anniversary for Braven Sword. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> We're going to feature the tangle. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I used um, Susan's tangle, Shatoku. Uh, I, I like the shape. And then I used Epsidus, which is one of mine. And then Flux is the tangle inks. And then she said, like, Aura Knot. I was like, oh, yeah, Aura Knot is a nice idea. So I plugged it in, in that triangle. Where are your triangles? Um, so I know that, like, this was, like, one. And then I think there was another one over here. And then this last triangle was the, the aura knot. That's why it's like by itself. Yeah. I think I think Susan's one is the most clear. Like, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like where the triangles are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Today I'm a good student. Mm, law abiding. Hey, hello. Mm. I'm also a good student. No, it's not like that. I cannot see. <laughs> <It's> so bad. <laughs> I can see, but I can see that this one. I, I see can see a lot of hearts. Yeah. <laughs> You can see who is the playground bully among oh. the three of us. <laughs> Susan got sour bread though. So Susan is the cookie because she know she bring nice yum yum. 
Yeah, we, yeah, okay. So, in closing, uh, the, uh, the recording of this session will be available on our Instagram profile at 7Forest5Rivers. You can also find us on YouTube, 7, uh, 7F5R Studio. Uh, all of our recordings, Instagram live recordings are available there. You can find Debbie at tangled.pursuits. I am at halfpen underscore will draw. Susan is susanyo.czt. And please do post your tiles in our Facebook group, 7F5R Challenge. Yeah. Today we used our uh, three triangle string. Tune in next week to find out three, what kind of shapes we'll use. <laughs> maybe Debbie not will... three? Yeah, maybe, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe Debbie will surprise hearts? us. Maybe it'll be four hearts just to throw us off. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> and, no, no. Then, and then we used uh, the Tangle Tanks by She and Naritomi CZT. Now, thank you so much for joining us. We hope to see you again next week, same time, 2.45 p.m. Singapore time, Wednesday. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll see what we can come up with together. Thank you so much for joining us. Debbie, bye. Susan? Yeah, we'll say bye. 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 <laughs>